and the violin outside the box with Dr. K. And we're going to talk about tension today. So it's probably one of the most crippling, physically and psychologically, one of the most crippling experiences that a performer can have. You know, when you have practiced a piece for months and sometimes even for years, and then you go on stage, and, you know, it seems like it was ready, it seems like you had practiced all the passages, but there is that fear, that tension that's creeping in and, and makes your performance a, a, a mess, basically. Um, I have had that experience a couple of times. In fact, the reason I started the, this video with that uh, little snippet of Paganini Caprice was that because once, at least once, I uh, played it really terribly. I thought I was ready, walked on the stage, I was tensed, and things didn't go the way they had to. So um, I was a bit stressed. I then decided to just lock myself in a room and figure out, yeah, no, no, not drink myself to death, but figure out what was the problem. Why was I getting attention and where was it coming? This video is not going to be a video about solving all your, all your problems with tension. It, you know, that's a very individual thing. Um, people use years of uh, consulting, people use all kinds of different techniques, uh, the yoga, Alexander techniques, which they're all really wonderful. So I'm not uh, here to claim that I can somehow cure you from your stage fear with just one advice. No, there is no such advice. Uh, but at least I can hopefully give you some ideas of wh where it's coming from, you know, and you can figure out how to deal with it. So um, actually once I focused on the tension in my hands, I was able to figure out really uh, quickly, and I don't know why I hadn't done it before, but maybe I just needed that stress, you know, to start it. I realized that, where is that tension? Okay, I'm pushing my fingers, the, the fingers, uh, while well, the fingers are attached to my wrist somehow, you know, so is it the wrist? Well, no, actually, it starts here. It starts here. Is it my biceps, my triceps, my arm, shoulder? None. It's your jaw, guys. It's the jaw, right here. Uh, we're just like we're clenching our teeth sometimes, like squeezing the jaw. So we do during playing, and uh, most of the tension, if not all, actually comes from your jaw and your neck. Relax that, and that's at least a, you know, a good beginning to get rid of the tension. So, my first exercise. Well, after I realized that, uh, after I've been playing for years and years. Even when I was putting a finger down, there was still some kind of a reaction from here. I was like pushing gently for no reason. So I realized that in order to get rid of the tension, I have to let the, the jaw completely off the violin and practice like that. Uh, and then I realized that it wasn't just, you know, pushing the jaw, but also because I had a shoulder as fixed on my uh, shoulder, I was also pushing it from here. So through the shoulder rest away temporarily. It's been a battle between shoulder rest and I for years and years I've played with and without got a long neck it's just so difficult to adjust to play without it but temporarily I threw it out uh, and started practicing slow passages scales or just little snippets you know little excerpts from pieces with my hat my jaw completely off the chin rest yeah and nothing really touching my shoulder here, except the body of the violin. And first thing that I noticed was still I had that little need, like the impulse wanting to push here. But now my jaw being off the chin rest, it was much easier to avoid that. So it took a good couple of days to get rid of that need to push. Um, I also noticed immediately how much more beautiful the violin was sounding. Nothing is pushing on it anymore. So it was a much more resonant sound. And I actually felt the violin vibrating against my color run, which was just a nice feeling. It's like, oh, it's alive, you know? So, um... It was a bit of a problem shifting because there was nothing to hold the violin. But then I also realized, well, I can just quickly just put my jaw in here, 
just to gently push it down when I'm shifting so the violin doesn't fall or slide down like that, and then continue playing. Um, uh, for about a month or two, I remember dedicating my about a fourth, sometimes even third of my practice to practicing with out the shoulder rest and chin off the chin rest. And gradually, uh, I was able to get rid of the need to push. And then when finally, regrettably, <laughs> I brought the chin rest, uh, shoulder rest, back, I realized that I wasn't squeezing I was kind of I was kind of aware of this already. I wasn't really squeezing it, uh, squeezing my shoulder up. That was a big revelation. And um, now, when I practice, really most of the time, almost 100 percent of time, I'm free of tension. Performance, it's a different thing. Again, I, I mean, I get tense too. I get a little scared too sometimes. Most of the times, uh, and I still have to teach myself how to completely get rid of that tension on stage. Um, but that's a longer story. So, just a little um, practice routine, I guess. When you're starting your practice, just sit there for a minute or two, or stand there for a minute or two, yeah? And take a couple of deep breaths. Like get that tension, get that anxiety out of you completely. And it's just nice to breathe air completely with your lungs, you know, it, it just makes you feel so much better for a few seconds. Violin up on the shoulder, let your jaw, your head off the violin, and practice your scales in a first position if you want, or shifting, no, with your head off completely. <laughs> Again, it is just a few minutes a day. I think you will actually start noticing um, a reasonable difference and a sizable difference in the way that you, in, in the way that you are being able to relax your body, your neck, your your hands, and also you'll see difference in the way that you are uh, putting your fingers down. Uh, one more thing, yeah, when you are relaxing and you're doing that, you know, uh, pseudo yoda, yoga, yoda. Yoga exercise or just relaxing exercise. Um, I like telling some of my students, younger ones, that imagine there's a little kitten sitting, there, like a little pet kitten or, or a little puppy sitting on your shoulder. Just the weight of it, that's how much weight, so that you feel the weight of your shoulders um, before you bring the violin up and practice, uh, you know, this uh, practice without your head on the chin rest. Uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this is helpful. Um, consider su subscribing to my channel and clicking the like button. Yeah, it helps me generate more videos for you. And if you want uh, more detailed instruction on this, um, uh, I am available uh, for private instruction. Just contact me using the link that I provided in the description. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon.